Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yumesh Gupta. So this is a new series which I'm making on you know public demand. A lot of people reach out and they want to discuss uh, web performance. So I thought uh, why not make a series, you know, collection of videos where we are going to focus on individual topics, short videos where we are going to focus on individual topics and that collectively is going to help you. So this is part one of that series where we are going to focus on uh, a particular user centric uh, metric called uh, cumulative layout shift so basically it is about we are going to discuss how different sections of a web page when they you know move from position x to y due to some uh, interaction or maybe some action then how does that affect uh, our user so uh, also this performance thing is a umbrella term there are lots of moving parts into it uh, there is actual performance and there is perceived performance where we improve the user journey or user experience. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's take a look at an example. Uh, by going through this example, we'll try to understand what are layout shifts and what is cumulative layout shift. So let's say we have this web page where, you know, it's more like a blog post where user can come and read. So let me just refresh it. So it's a simple blog post kind of a page. Now, based on our internal research or brainstorming, we realized that maybe we could, you know, show some recommended articles, recommended content on this page and uh, that would uh, enhance our user experience. So this is the code. We have a recommended content component here. Basically, it's a simple component where we are render rendering the content and we are fetching the data. I'm just mocking the API here with the set timeout. So I'll just enable this and I'll save this. Now, if I go to this page, uh, you will see that after a couple of seconds, this block of uh, content appears. It could be a list, it could be anything. We are just, you know, using it as a stub here. So uh, let's say your user is reading some content. There is some content already laid out. A structure is laid out on the web page, but due to some dynamically loaded content or lazy loaded maybe you know ads maybe iframes maybe embeds your content pushes down changes position or shifts from one position to another this is called a layout shift so let me refresh and show you again that if you have you know a certain structure and then due to some uh, content injected late the lay layout of the page changes which forces the browser to recompute and uh, re-render everything. So this is called a layout shift and cumulative layout shift is a metric to measure this. It is uh, used to measure how visually stable your page is. That means uh, uh, if the layout shift is occurring a lot or uh, you know it's, it's less. The lesser the value of cumulative layout shift is the better. You can, you know, measure this using a lighthouse and uh, as I mentioned, the lesser the value, it's better. So now this seems like a very small thing that if I refresh, user is reading, then couple of seconds, uh, something appears and it's okay. Uh, but there can be, you know, cases where this is, first of all, this is a jarring experience because I am reading something and I am focused on that. Plus, uh, at suddenly the content shifts and uh, it, it makes, uh, you know, I lose interest or it, it suddenly feels abrupt and I might leave the website or in a more uh, serious scenario, what would happen is let's say there is, you know, a cart here that I, one button is pay now and one is cancel and I am about to click cancel on the page but due to some uh, layout shift that uh, some content is loaded maybe a pop-up maybe a banner which is loaded uh, uh, you know loaded after a while due to which the layout shift occurs i end up clicking on buy now and that you know processes the order which was not my intention so you're actually causing harm to the user so in in this video i'm not going to exactly tell you the exact code snippets to solve this problem because there are a lot of ways to do that but I'm going to make you understand the concept, the impact and some basic solutions to it. So let's say in this particular scenario, when we, you know, refresh and nothing is shown here and then suddenly something appears. We can do multiple things. We can, you know, 
try to compute the height so basically our uh, aim is that we want the br browser to not shift the layout as much as possible so uh, we, we we have to you know uh, consider we have to uh, let the browser know that this much space is, uh, is being used or will be used in the future so maybe we can use a loader maybe some sort of placeholder so let's say inside our recommended content rather than returning a null i return some placeholder maybe recommended content i placeholder i just return this and uh, there is nothing inside as of now so if i refresh this uh, recommended content lets me check out the class so so see if now if i refresh then there is a placeholder in place you this placeholder could be anything you know it's a skeleton it's some loader or something which you know has a fixed width and height in this case so that you know there is no layout shift it will we are consuming that space and letting the browser know initially that this we are going to consume this space so we talked about what is a layout shift and what is a cumulative layout shift uh, and we also talked about how we can fix this recommended content problem so now let's take a look at couple of examples where layout shift uh, could occur so let's say in this article we decide to add images maybe after the first paragraph we add an image so let's first refresh this page then we go to our code after the first paragraph we uncomment this so now once i save it then focus on the image part so if i save it and it's a refreshed and you see that this page you know this image appears and uh, it, it so browser fetches this image you know downloads it then it renders the image and it pushes our second paragraph down you can visually see that so let me try to you know do that again maybe since it's in local so it loads pretty fast so right now there is no image i uncomment this i save it and we go here see our image appears and it pushes it down so this is the same problem that you know uh, the best case in this scenario or in layout shift is that you tell the browser what is you know the dimensions of the content which might be lazy loaded could be an ad maybe rather than having an image there was an ad slot from you know google or somewhere and uh, that ad suddenly appears between your content and it uh, you know it's a jarring experience so you could block that space for the uh, for the user by telling what's the width and height how going to be for ad slot we are going to do the same that we are going to tell the browser that what is the you know width and height we are going to, in this case we are going to tell the aspect ratio basically so we're going to tell the aspect ratio to the browser so we go here and we just copy paste the width and height of the image basically we are trying to uh, trying to tell the aspect ratio to the browser of the image so so that browser leave that much space so now if i refresh it every time then you know that much space is already laid out by the browser and there is no layout shift so even if i you know uh, first comment this out and uh, there is no image right now and if i uncomment this and save this then there is no layout shift the browser on initial uh, you know when they are initially laying out the all the components or the blocks then browser leaves this much space because uh, we we are already telling the browser that the image that is going to come uh, is is going to be of that height obviously there are different caveats that you will you need to tell width and height based on the device size uh, for a lot uh, so but in this case just to show you an example i have taken the original width and height but uh, you can or there are multiple ways to solve this <laughs> you can have this much width uh, placeholder or maybe you know you can dynamically load this and uh, only visit make this visible when the image is completely loaded you can use on load for that or you can use again a skeleton a placeholder or whatever 
so this is one of the ways to solve this so let's talk about a very peculiar case maybe you know in this blog post we decide to add a footer so please first of all don't judge me on my ui skills i can do much better it's just uh, you know what i cooked up really really quickly so we have this footer consider this as a footer where we have some content so now we decide to add maybe a list maybe a list of videos or something uh, so the concept here is that uh, we are going to render something where which that we are going to fetch from a backend api and uh, that you know uh, the data is fetched and based on that data we are rendering so we have a footer component here i have a ready made component called videos it's just a simple component that is fetching uh, data from in uh, third party and rendering it so i save it i go back here so now we are adding some delay so after a couple of seconds uh, we fetch the list of videos and we are basically rendering those videos so now what happens is that when you refresh this page uh, you are here and suddenly you know dynamically content is loaded and that pushes your footer down so this is somewhat similar to the recommended content part but in this case i want to show another approach that uh, you know this footer this footer is a, a insignificant part you can say that it might be not as important as the other content so maybe somehow we can defer the rendering of it or loading of it that uh, once our uh, you know this entire list is ready or loaded then only we will render the uh, the footer part so we can do this by having some conditional flag rendering so we have this flag here called loaded let me zoom more so we have this uh, you know flag loaded and set loaded and right now it's false so that means if loaded is true then only we will render the footer else it's going to be null so right now the the list will render but our footer uh, is not going to show we are not showing the footer because loaded is false so what we can do is that maybe to the videos component we can pass a callback called on complete and inside that callback we set loaded we set it to true and uh, inside our videos component we can get this as a prop and once we fetch all the data and it is set we can call this function so what happens here is that initially there is nothing and once our you know once our list is fetched and loaded then we render the footer so this is just you know, I would not say this is the best way but this is one of the ways where you know we can avoid a layout shift that if uh, we know that a certain content is not significant enough we can defer the rendering of it by something like this maybe if, if it's in this case what we are doing is that we are passing a uh, fun callback which we are invoking when uh, the entire component is loaded uh, let's say it is based on an image or uh, or you know iframe or something or maybe some other tag then we can use on load also on load uh, native on load of a html tag so this brings end to a video we talked about what uh, layout shifts what is you know cumulative layout shift and uh, we we saw a couple of examples where that this could occur and how to fix those plus we you know talked about serious examples serious use cases where you user want to click a certain cta but they end up clicking somewhere else and how this could cause real harm to the users so i hope you were able to learn something in this video i try to focus on the concepts more so that you can you know understand what is happening and why it is happening because there are a lot of solutions out there plus uh, i hope you see value in this if yes then please do like share and subscribe please share it with others so that you know we can have awareness around our content plus uh, around the platform devtools.tech so till next time see you take care